Knowledge say that you're either calling to something or you are being called to something. No third option. Right now in our society, God rejecting deviants are openly saying that they are going to quote, convert our children. We will convert your children, they are saying. They are saying this openly now. No more hidden agendas, no more conspiracy theories. It's all open. We want to convert your children. They want to convert our children into accepting their deviant lifestyles and perverted philosophies. But in order for them to do this, they need Muslims to forsake their tradition and accept the current zeitgeist. They need us to accept this highly intolerant and coercive liberalism that has now openly declared ideological war on traditional religion. This is their project. This is their project. And let me tell you something. We are gradually becoming the last line of defense when it comes to traditional religion in the world. We, the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, have been entrusted with the Milla of Ibrahim we, we must not allow ourselves to be bullied or intimidated. Fastaqim kama umirt. Be upright as you have been commanded. Be strong, resolute, stand up straight. Ya ayyuhal mudathir, qum fa anzir, wa rabbaka fa kabbir, wa thiyabaka fa tahir, wa rujza fa hajur, wa la tamnun tastakthiru, wa li rabbika fa sbir. Stand up, warn people about their behavior. Say, Allahu Akbar, purify yourself, shun their defilements and idolatry. Don't expect anything from them and be patient. This is our project. This is our project. We are the last line of defense. The vast majority of Jews no longer believe in the 13 principles of faith as articulated by Maimonides, their greatest classical theologian. The historical critical method has ripped the Torah to shreds. Most Jews today are non-practicing. They go to the synagogue for cultural or, or social purposes, or they practice reform Judaism where they can eat whatever they want. And their halakha, their sharia is optional, even belief in God is optional, is not required. The current Pope of the Roman Catholic Church is an extreme liberal who constantly offends his traditional and conservative followers. This is the leader of a billion Catholics. He's made strange and bizarre comments about the existence of hell, about civil unions, about the Latin mass. Something strange is going on with this guy. Most Christian churches in the West have let the woke circus through their doors. They have capitulated to the same coercive liberalism that has overrun the academy like a scourge. They surrendered to the mob that claimed that their beliefs were not only offensive, but constituted violence. Your beliefs, not actions. Your beliefs are violent, the mob said. So they let the circus in. And once you let the circus in, sooner or later, the clowns will run the show. Amazingly, during this time, people in the West continue to convert to Islam. Allahu Akbar. It's really not that surprising. It makes sense when you think about it. Islam is a religion of human fitrah. It appeals to our natural disposition. People naturally love monotheism, uncompromising monotheism. They are attracted to the simplicity of Muslim worship, bowing and prostrating without icons, without statues. They are attracted to the Prophet Sallallahu who was respectful of others, yet uncompromising when it came to his principles. People respect that. Even his enemies respected him for that. They are attracted to how Islam recognizes the difference and uniqueness of men and women, how they are equal but not identical, how they are complements, not rivals, not antagonists. They are attracted to the sanctity of human life, in Islam and the equality of all human beings for, before God. For them, Islam is totally refreshing in the face of the current zeitgeist. And of course, there is a place for, for, urf, for culture. In Islam, there is a maxim in the Sharia that says, Al ma'rufu urfan kal mashru'i shar'an. That which is known through custom or culture is like that which is legislated by revelation. But there is a caveat. Any cultural practice must be circumscribed within the hudud. The bound of the sacred law, it must not violate the revelation which is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا تعت لمخلوق في معصية الخالق There's no such thing as obedience to creation in disobedience to the Creator. 
Interestingly, a lot of middle-aged adults are converting to Islam. These are people who have had some time to think and ponder about life and the current state of affairs in the world. They have come to see through the lies and deceptions of the current zeitgeist. Many of these converts who uh, live in Europe are total submarines. A submarine is a Muslim who has chosen not to make his faith to anybody. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows who they are. You'll notice that children, because they are close to the fitrah, they love Allah and His Messenger. Children with terminal cancer never complain. They accept the qadr, they are awliya. But then when they go to public schools and colleges, they become exposed to this postmodern philosophy, critical theory, deconstructionism, atheistic materialism, post-structuralism, radical hermeneutics, etc., etc. And they have a falling away. Their fitrah takes a hit. Their common sense is questioned. But then eventually, when they get older and wiser with experience, when they begin to do some real thinking on their own, they come to realize, Sadaq Allah, wa Sadaq Rasulullah. This is happening everywhere right now. These unnatural, deceptive, and irrational philosophies are making people miserable. These philosophies turn the world into a godless battleground where different identity groups are constantly vying for power. Everything becomes a struggle for power. These backward philosophies turn people into mean-spirited, self-righteous cynics. It bifurcates the world into two classes, the oppressed and the oppressor. And ironically, those who are often labeled as oppressed are actually the oppressors and vice versa. Tawbah and shukr and tawadur, humility are thrown out the window and people are getting tired of it. They're getting tired. They want an alternative and they're discovering Islam. They're discovering the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.